Welcome back to another AQ World video. We're going to be checking out the Master Martial Artist class. The Martial Artist or the Master Martial Artist, they're both basically the same class. And we're going to be taking a look at it, starting with the first one, which is the Auto Attack. Now, this is actually not an Auto Attack. This you need to actually do yourself, which is a nice change from the... This is kind of like an anti botting class. Kind of reminds me of the Dragon Slayer that they had an experimental version of in Infinity. And also there's aspects of this class that remind me of the Ninja class in AQ3D. So this skill, you literally have to apply yourself. It is not an auto skill. And then the next one is rank one, the Frogzard's Crushing Jaw. And this is a status skill, so it only applies to you. This makes Pummel reduce the target's damage resistance by 5%. Next is the Gorilla Font Beatdown. This is another status skill that affects you. And this is where you're going to be taking the stance of a Gorilla Font, causing your punches to increase your crit damage by 15%. The next status skill, applying only to yourself, is the Soaring Dragon causing your punches to apply Spinning Dragon to your target, which reduces their next hit to zero. Rank four, you have the Swift Strikes. This is a passive ability where your haste is increased by 30% and your dodge is increased by 30%. At rank five, you have Concentration, the ultimate. And this is a short skill that heals yourself. Now rank 10, which I've, I'm only rank 6, I haven't ranked this all the way up yet, and this one here increases your endurance by 20%. I want to get in the middle of the screen so I can really highlight the effects of this. So the first, this is the crushing blow, Frogzard's crushing blow, just to see the visual effects of this and... So you can see the frogs are pop out. And then the next one is the gorilla font beat down. You can see a gorilla font up here. And then next we have the soaring dragon. Soaring dragon appears over my head and flies into the air. And then the healing one, which is the concentration. This heals you, which causes a nice aura effect around. And then, of course, you're healing your thing. But yeah, so that's the visual effects of these things. Pummel's literally just punching. That's all you do. So when you're using this class, it's very interesting because every time you use the ability, the first ability, Pummel, it's using up 50 mana. So you only have two shots before you need to use a stance in order to replenish. Only using your stance once will completely replenish your thing. So you're not really going to have a mana problem as long as you're using stances every two times you hit but farming with this class is very very tricky even leveling this class up i got to rank six before i was bored and didn't want to rank it anymore decided might as well just make a quick video on it but i like the idea of this class to be honest i'm not a super fan of this class it's not one i really be using i've got my vhl i've got my legion I've got the Yami. I have other ones that I would use over top of this. But if you want something that is a very unique class or a class collector like myself, then you would definitely want to put this in your roster. It is a unique class, which is the best thing going for it. As for the DPS of this class, I really have no idea like I said earlier what rotations to use to make this an efficient farm class but i really don't see it i i've heard that the durability of this thing can be very good i believe it has to do with the soaring dragon stance but i would like to know what you guys think of this class let me know in the comments below thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one